so this is a self-proclaimed Shaolin dude. And he's taken on, we just saw this MMA guy. This MMA guy took on the Wing Chun guy, jabs the Shaolin dude in the face. I'm pretty sure he's a fake Shaolin dude. But he even goes by, so um, the Shaolin people, they all go with the name Shi. So um, he even has a surname as Shi. So it doesn't mean he's real, right? He could have just given himself the name. Kind of like, who's the guy that wrote Think and Grow Rich? That guy was not a real Carnegie, right? He just gave himself the name Dale Carnegie. So look at that. Our Shaolin guy's doing some drunken boxing now, trying to copy Li Shrunken, that JKD-inspired chef guy we featured back in the day. Here he goes. Let's see if he can land a strike. Nope. Totally out of range. Ooh, a little jab to the body. Sorry, um, hook to the body to hook to the face. Some more combos after that. Also, our guy is much bigger. The MMA guy is much bigger. Also, guys, they're wearing shoes, man. So this must be a boxing match then, right? If they're wearing shoes. So you could argue Shaolin guy's arsenal is taken away. But, oh, ow, that hook really hurt. Oof, oof. Body hook. Dude, he's really good at the digging the hook. To the body and then going up to the face. Another one, see? Another one. Little jab to the head. Another jab to the head. Nope. Overswung overhand. Little palm technique. By the way, notice Shallon guy has no gloves, man, because gloves take away from the experience. So he gave up. He gassed out. He gave up. There is so much construction outside. And it is driving me crazy. There's two other angles I found online. Actually, there's more than two other angles. But there's two other angles that are very high quality. So let's watch and see what other stuff we can pick out of this. Okay. So here's another angle that starts before what we just saw. And notice he already tries to attack before he's ready. Look at that. He tries to attack before the match has officially began. I guess that's a kung fu technique, right? Because on the streets, you don't know. When the fight's actually going to happen. So that kind of provides the intro that we didn't see from the other angle. So there. He's trying to do some kind of Shaolin technique. But left his face open. Got jabbed. He's like, I'm okay. He's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. By the way, how epic is this mall ring? This ring in the mall. Look at him. Maybe some kind of tiger or mantis technique. Or maybe something like that. Just looks like slapping. Yeah, it looks like some kind of tiger technique. Um, or leopard technique. Um, ah Jun, that's what people some call him. Shi Yong Jun is his uh, quote unquote Shaolin name. Um, the other guy, the MMA guy, we've already seen him before. His name's Ah Jun, Mr. Handsome. So look at that. Connecting every punch. I don't think any punch that the MMA guy has thrown. Oh, that one missed. But they've all basically connected. So, look at him. Now, maybe try and crane or mantis. Very haymaker-esque overhand type of thing. That, oof, ouch. Now he's doing drunken. Drunken's not working. Look at that. Attempt at a combo right there, right? Would have looked like a pretty kung fu combo. There he is. I really wanted to see if... What would have happened if this were a kickboxing or a MMA match, man? So, here we go. Here we go. Oh, and this is when he gets punched. So, this is the final angle that shows. He tried to attack before the match was ready. He gets pushed. And you can tell he thinks it's funny. I mean, it is funny. If you can take life not so seriously, just don't get too much damage, right? But if you can take this as a joke. There it is. When he tries that technique, he jabbed twice. He tried a Shaolin technique, but left his face open. Got jabbed twice. A little good technical stand-up he did. So, look at that. That's the huh, little schoolgirl technique. That Oh, this is a little bit of... I, I see what he's doing. He's almost doing monkey. This is kind of monkey. I get it now. That was monkey. So, he took that hook, and now he transitions into... Drunken boxing. So. Here it is. But zero understanding of range, right? 
You know, honestly, I think this guy performance-wise might have looked really cool, but he has no understanding of range, so... No understanding of entry, of exits, of angles. And then, yeah, obviously, very bad at defending himself, right? Turned his back there for a little too long. Ouch. And apparently, the announcer was saying he also does iron palm. So. Um, oof. Right there. That's when we saw a bunch of jabs land on his head. Uh, so, they mentioned Kuhai, who we featured before, too. Apparently, Kuhai is also in this little shenanigans. So, this guy apparently challenged Yilong, too. Part of me feels like, at this point, the MMA community and the traditional Chinese martial arts community in China, they're in cahoots to troll the West because there's only people like me to find footage. There's nobody else that really speaks Chinese that well. They're basically using channels like mine to get free publicity. I really think that's a little hypothesis we're gonna put in the back of our heads. It's free publicity for them and they can use it to promote their industries. And of course, there will also be quite a lot of suckers who will want to just learn the traditional martial arts on top of that. So it's a win-win for everyone. If there's one society to be that level of troll, it would be. In the meantime, we will just continue covering <laughs> All these shit anakins. I mean, come on. That was funny. That was really funny. <laughs> oh, you guys, keep sending me footage. This was Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Fight Commentary Breakdowns.